loud. All right, good. We're good to go. All right. What do you guys know about Piano Man? First of all, do you know his wife's name? Well, it's a Billy Joel song. <laughs> How's that? It's a Billy Joel song, yes. Do you Which remember, wife? Do you remember his wife's name? Mrs. Oh, Joel. Really? Who? Cindy Crawford at one time. No, no, Christy Brinkley. Christy, Christy Brinkley. Brinkley, yes, but that was not his first wife. He's probably been married 10 times, who knows. Does anybody know the first wife's name? Three points if you know. Save your points. They're worth valuable, they're worth valuable prizes later on. Mrs. Joel. His first nope. wife's name was Elizabeth Weber. Now, why is that important? Because she's important to this song. Okay, this was, this was Billy Joel's first single. In 1972, he escaped to L.A. Okay, he's a Mr. New York man, you know that. But he was having a conflict with his recording company. So he left and went to, New, went to L.A. with his first wife. His first wife's name was Elizabeth Weber. He then had to work as a lounge player. Um, a lot of us did. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's actually kind of fun. And he worked at the executive room bar. And he was under the name Bill Martin. He wasn't Billy Joel at that time. He was Bill Martin. His real name, here's your trivia for the day, William Martin Joel. That's Billy, Billy Joel's real name. So he's working as a lounge player out there. And he based all of his songs, or every, all of the song characters were based on real people that he was meeting at the bar. By the way, the waitress practicing politics is his wife, Elizabeth oh Weber. So there's your second set of trivia for the day. In April of 1974, the single broke into the Billboard Top 40 at number 30, and it peaked at number 25. And then he released his 1977 album, The Stranger, and the songs became one of his most iconic songs ever. So there's what we know about Billy Joel's Piano Man. Always going to give you some trivia so you know a little bit about the song and it makes a little more sense to you. Okay, first things first, I have an introduction here. If anybody wants this introduction, some of you are gonna want it. Yes. You can, some of you are not. <laughs> um, you can download it from musicnotes.com and it'll bring up the piano music and you can just play the first line. And it goes like this. This is just the intro. Can't hear you. Turn on your microphone. Your oh, I turned my microphone off, my bad. You can all <laughs> do that though, right? Sure, and if you don't feel like doing that, no worries, you've got an introduction button on your instrument. This is a waltz. Piano Man's on page 106 in book 200. It is a five pager, so be careful on that. The one that works the best, in my opinion, is the Bojangles waltz. Yeah the Bojangles Waltz at 140. I'm using Rhythm Preset 8 and Rhythm Preset 0. Let's go through some chords before we get started. Most of the chords there are excellent, by the way. So those of you who are just getting started, you can play this. You know what a C is, you know what an E minor is, the whole first page, no changes. Let's go to page 107, the second page. Top line, first chord is a G. If you wish, you may make it a G7. And for those of you who want to go a little bit crazy, make it a G sus, G-S-U-S. That means it's a suspended fourth chord. So if you're making it a G7 sus, you're going to play four notes. Stop it. Oh, seriously, okay. There we go. C, D, F, G, 
G all at the same time. It's not very hard. Give it a try. If you just want to play G7, that's fine too. Same line, fourth measure. The C, make it a C major seven. C, capital M-A-J seven. You can play it with two fingers. C and B, as in baby or butterfly. If you feel like playing B and C instead of C and B, guess what? You're allowed to break the rules. <gasps> I know I tell you never go below the C, but in this case, go ahead. The next G, make it a G sus or a G7 sus, which would be the same four notes. C, D, F, G. It's not very hard to play, it just takes a little bit of practice. That's it for that page. Go to page 108. Line two, second measure, make the G, a G7 sus. There's your four notes again, C, D, F, and G. Got it? Line three, the A minor is good for one measure. In the second measure, make it an A minor seven. C, G, A. Last line on that page. Second measure. Make it an A minor seven. Let's go to the next page, 109. The G is good for one measure. In that blank measure, put a G7, F and G. Very easy. And that's it for that page. Turn to page 110. Second measure, make the G. Guess what? It's a G7 sus. You can do this. It's C, D, F, and G. The last line of the song. First chord is a C, make it a C major seven. C, capital M-A-J seven. It's two notes, C and B as in butterfly. Or if you want to play it backwards, I'll let you do it. I won't look. B and C. The first ending, which is the one, two, and three ending. Make the G a G7 because you're going right back to the beginning of the song. The fourth ending, you can make that G a G sus seven, a G seven sus. But no worries, I think we're going to fade it out before we get there. Okay, any questions on chords? Chords are good? I'm looking, everybody's shaking their head, yes. Okay, good. This is, yeah, not too Name difficult. Those. All right, let's do the roadmap. So smart. Yeah, they've been learning from a good teacher. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's do the roadmap. Roadmap is actually very easy. You take verse one, you play one, two, three, four, five pages. Then you have a first ending, go back to the beginning, play the second verse. Go back to the beginning, play the third verse. Easy. We're only going to play it through twice today. We close at six, so you know that's we don't have all day to sit here and just play one song. We're going to make a little bit of an arrangement, though. And for those of you who want to, Kenneth Whaley is raising his hand on. Okay, Ken, I'm going to unmute, unmute yourself, Ken. Ken, you have a question, Ken? He had two hands up in the air. Oh. Yep, there's still two hands up in the air. Ken, do you have a question? I'm clicking to unmute. You have to unmute yourself. Okay. Can you hear me? There you go. Yep. Okay. What, what rhythm are you going to use? We're using the Bojangles waltz, Ken. Okay. If you don't have a Bojangles waltz, any waltz will work. Waltz is a waltz is a waltz. Some of them are just nicer than others, depending on the song. Okay. 
Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to add some right hand notes as well as changing a little bit of the styles. I'm going to add use an altar style. If you have an altar style, we're going to add that at the top of page 107, second page. The, somewhere before you get to the he says son at the end of that first line, you're going to add the altar style. Now, for those of you that know how to memorize your presets, you might want to do it as a memorized preset so you're not stopping and looking to see where's my altar style. What does the altar style actually do? It tweaks the background a little bit. Here's how the, how the style sounds without the, without the altar style. Here's how it sounds with the altar style. See how it just changes it up a little bit and it just keeps things fresh because we're not gonna be changing the sound a lot. Now you could have just changed it by changing a preset, but I didn't want to do that. We're also going to add a golden harp. Page 109, top line, right before you get, sing us a song, you're the piano man. You're going to add a golden harp. I'm sorry, let's back up a little bit too. Page 108, third line where it says chorus. Before you get to the chorus, you're gonna take the altar style off. And you might wanna make a preset for that. It's a lot easier to just hit your, hit your presets. Those of you who like to use your foot, you know how much easier that can be. At the top of page 109, first line, last measure, add a golden harp. And then you can also add a full AOC to the top keyboard if you wish. But here's how it's going to sound when you add the golden harp. Let's go to no altar style with the altar style. We're going to take the altar style off again. Then at the top of page 109, we're going to add a golden harp. You hear it? These are subtle See, Don, Someone has their hand raised. Okay. It says iPhone. I'm on. Hi, iPhone. Hello, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Hey, I finally, I've been watching you, but I guess you couldn't see me. I could see you. Yep, okay. I could. Okay. Very cool. Okay. You got a question? Uh, well, no, I just wanted the tempo. What was the tempo again? Tempo was 140, but you always know you can slow that down. Okay. All, All right. right. 140 or slower. Okay. There are some of you who like to play things at 42. Okay. That just means that everybody at the bar drank too much and they all passed out. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that's okay. good. I didn't, know if, I didn't know if I was there or not, but I'm seeing you, so it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Welcome, I'm glad you're on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, when we go back to the beginning, we're gonna change to A5, if you've been keeping track of the numbers. A5, all I'm doing is going back to no alter style and changing the sound. I'm actually going to preset zero, which is um, the accordion with some strings. So I'm using piano strings and I'm using accordion strings for sounds. And eventually I'm gonna go back to A3 which was the piano on the top. So I'm only going to be using the accordion for a little while. And of course, all of you creative people out there, you know you can use your own settings, your own changes, and use as many presets as you wish, and then just line them all up. For those of you who are a little unsure about how to memorize presets, 
leave me an email and we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment and we'll do it on your own organ and we will learn how to memorize presets because it's actually kind of fun. We got another hand raised. Another hand raised. Swift, it says. Carol. Carol. <laughs> I have a question. Do you, did you put normal on or you left that off when you're doing your presets? Normal, um, yes, I use normal. Normal zero okay. and yeah. normal eight. I actually and, started and this, with, I started with and, eight and went to normal zero for the second sound, for the second verse. And then this is a general question for all the songs that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Like if, if I put a, a song in that's in song setup, say the piano man's in song setup, if I wanted to sound the way Bill Curry wanted it to sound, do you automatically put the normal on? No. If you want to sound the way Bill Curry wanted it to sound, you leave the normal off. Anytime anybody puts on a song setup, the rhythm preset button will not go on. It may or it may not be exactly the same as what rhythm preset would have been anyway, but Bill Curry has chosen two specific sounds, upper keyboard and lower keyboard, that'll work for your song that he thinks would be good choices. Just those two though. So when you go Correct. into the other things, then you get chimes and all that stuff. Correct. You have to put the normal back on. Absolutely correct. Okay. Try the Thank two sounds God. first. You're welcome, but try those first two sounds. And if you don't like them, then make sure you put rhythm preset normal on. Now your one through eight is going to be perfect for that. Yep. Um, let's see what we're gonna do next. I think I'm just gonna play it and see what you think, and see if you can tell where I'm making the changes, okay? I'm going to do the first eight measures with just chords as part of the intro. And play.
Okay. It wasn't perfect. I hope you weren't counting the mistakes. I think we need to give a round of applause, everybody. Let's give it up. Uh, your microphone's off. Where are you? Mike. Uh oh, someone's clock is going off. We have a couple raised hands. Okay. Uh, Don, okay. hold on. Hold on, let me uh, mute some of these rowdy people here. Um, we have, looks like Joe, is it Joanne? It says yes. Don in there. Oh, no, you just really Joanne. keep messing with me. You really keep messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> keep me on my toes. Or we have a question, it looks like from uh, Joanne and then and Pam. Pam. So we'll okay. start with Joanne. Don, so at you. one time I had penciled in other information on here from you okay. at the top of page 107. Uh -huh. As far as um, after the second the second uh, thing, you had put in other keys in there. Yes, C, G, C, F, 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 G, G, G. Yes, ma'am. Did you play those just now? I, I did. You did. Yeah. did you hear them? Yeah, I did. I did. I did hear them, and I am going to tell you what they are again. Okay. Okay. So Thank I'm glad you. you did hear them, Pam. Let me unmute. Uh, my question is, when you changed uh, your sounds, your yes. presets, did you keep the altar in the same place and the golden harp in the same places? Actually, actually, I did not go to the altar style. I could have, and I could have made another preset, but I didn't in that case. I just played that straight through. I only had one preset with the second sound on it. And when I got back to page 108, where it has the chorus, and it says yes. minus the altar, I just went back to A3. So I went from A5 oh. backwards to A3. On the top of page 109, I went forwards to A4, which is where I added the golden harp and put on the full AOC. So if I was setting it up completely, I would leave those in there. That's what my question was. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. I would. Okay. I would. Okay. Yep. Thank you. But that's totally up. Your choice. Your choice. Whatever you like. Okay. Any other questions? Nope. Okay. First of all, you're going to want to know, what did I do for those extra notes? Correct? All right. Right? So the first place I put those was on the top of page 107. Right Oops. after the C for tonic and gin. You're only going to play that C as a quarter note. Then you're going to put in four eighth notes. You can just write in the letters if you want, because if you know how it goes, just let it go. You're going to put a C. Right next to the C, you're going to put another C, the bottom line, the line below the staff. Next to it, going up diagonally, on the first line, you're going to put an E. On the second line, you're going to put a G. You're still in the same measure, second measure. And on the top, or excuse me, the third space, you're going to put a C. So your eighth notes in the second measure are going to be C, E, G, C. The third measure with the F chord, your notes are going to be on the first space, put an F. First space, put an F. I you know you can't see that. On the C below the staff, the first line below the staff, that F, by the way, is a quarter note. Now you're going to add four more eighth notes in the last two beats. C on the first line below the staff, F on the first space, all the way up to the C on the third space and back down to the F. So that third measure is going to be F, C, F, C, F.
So far we've got C, C, E, G, C, F, C, F, C, F. And the third measure with the C chord, you're going to have a G on the second line. That's a quarter note. Your next four notes are eighth notes. C on the first line below the staff, up to the G, which is the second line, up to the C, which is the third space, back to the G, which is the second line. So that third measure of, of extra notes, actually it's measure four in that, on that line, And then where the rest is in the next measure, you're going to put an A on the second space. And that's a quarter note because then you're going to go right up to the G that's written. Oh, good. Robert's got that up there. Thank you, Robert. I wanted to make sure that was the right one. <laughs> yep, that is the right one. That pattern is going to repeat itself. You could actually just leave that page up there. That's going to repeat itself on the last page, the last page, 110. Except you're not going to have a low C, you're going to start with a high C. But your four notes are going to be low C, then E on the first line, then G on the second line, and C on the third space. When the chord changes to F, it's going to be exactly the same as what you see on the screen. F on the first space for a quarter note. C on the first line below the staff. Up to F on the first space. Up to C on the third space. Down to F on the first space. And then line two of page 110, you're going to continue with that G, C, G, C, G. G on the second line, C on the first line below the staff, G on the, on the second line, C on the third space, G on the second line. And then you have two rests in that first one through three ending. Instead of the first rest, you're gonna play A on the second space. And instead of the second rest, you will play G on the second line. That's the only difference. Do we have to do that again, or did you all get that? Yep, that would be the last page. And as far as the fourth ending, you may copy that as well, or you may fade it out. If you can see, I don't know if you can see my, my mouse arrows right here. That's where we are going to repeat. Why are we going to repeat that? Because it gives you time to turn back to the first page. You can also just play an FX to go back to the first page to start over again. And then this is where we're going to repeat back to when we end the song. Dun da 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 dum da 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 dum da 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 dum 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 dum. Go back to here and just keep repeating those four measures and fade out. I will give you fingering for that as well. If you feel like playing it, all five verses. What is it? Four verses? Five verses? It's four verses. If you like playing it for four verses, make sure that your arrangement um, changes sounds. You may wish to transpose in between, go up half a step. That's always a good tool in your arranging toolbox to pull out. If the Bojangles Waltz is not on yours, another good choice would be the Bistro Italiano. But I like the Bojangles the best on this one. Please feel free to experiment. This is not a song that I would try in 4-4 time, by the way. This is one that's so iconic. Don't you dare change my favorite Billy Joel song. Keep it on a waltz. That being said, I can see Gene McDonald going, aha. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing good. All right, let's do some fingering. Let's go back to page 106. Remember, if you are struggling with getting those, you're not sure what I just did, email me. I'll be happy to scan it over to you or come into the store. You know where my books are. You can copy whatever you want. By the way, if I could play it as well as Billy Joel could play it, you wouldn't have me as a teacher. I'd probably be sitting pretty with uh, some nice royalties, but I don't play it that well. So, But the good news is you don't have to play it well. You just play it for fun. You play it because you love the song. Let's go back and do some fingering. Page 106. G5, 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 G5. Remember, this is optional. For those of you who don't wish to do fingering, go mix a drink or get yourself some coffee and you'll be fine. F4, E3, F4, E3, C1. Second line. If you wish to put a little check mark there, go ahead. C1, 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 all the way across. And D2. Third line, D2, G5, 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 all the way across, F4, E3. Last line on that page, F4, E3, C can be one or two. Check mark, take a breath with your hand. The low A's are ones, F5, F5. Let's go to the next page, 107, F5, E4, C2, C2. Little check mark right there because you want to now switch fingers. The notes that you wrote in will be C1, E2, G3, C5. Next measure, F2, C1, F2, C5. F2, and learn those measure by measure, honest and truly. It's not that hard. Next measure, G3, C1, G2, C5, G2, A1 with a circle. Tuck it under so you have enough time to get up to that high G. Remember, you're also changing a preset at that time, so you've got lots of things to think about. Second line, all those high Gs are fives. G5, F4, E3, F4, E3, C1. Third line, all the Cs are ones. D2, D2. Next line, D2. Bottom of the page, E3. F4, G5, G5, G5. Let's go to the next page. Oh, good. It's right up there on the screen for you. G5, F4, E3, F4, E3, 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 C1. Second line, C1, C1, E3, F4, E3, C1, C1. Check mark at the end of the line, and you're changing a preset. A2, 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 B3, C4, B3, A2. Last line on that page, A2, A2, B3, C4, B3, A2, Top of page 109, G1. Now, before you go up to that high G, but I only did it the last time, do a glissando from whatever note you feel like going up to the high G. You just do a squiggly line. I did not put one on the page Robert's showing you, but you may do so. Just put a squiggly line before that high G and start anywhere you want to and go right up to that high G with a gliss. G5, 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 second line, 
G5, F4, E3, F4, E3, C1 or 2, whichever one you like. Do a little check mark. Take a little breath with your hand. A1, C3, C3, third line, C3, D4, D4. At the end of the held D, check mark, lift your hand. E3, F4, G5, 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 F4, 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 E3, C1, check mark. The last note is a G1. Let's go to the last page. Hey, Don, where did you do the glissando? Um, right before that, right there. Right, right there. Here? So if I do, hold on. A squiggly line up to that G. Like this? Yep, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> nice. I've been, want, I've been wanting to try that feature out. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Last page, A2, C3, C3, F5, E4, C2, C2. Oops, I forgot to finger these, but they're exactly the same as what you did before. C1, E2, G3, C5, F2, C1, F2, C5, F2. G3, C1, G2, C5, G2, A3, G2. And then I put an entire measure of fill-in to go back to the beginning. Just do big fill-in or drum solo. You know how to do that. That's a no chord with just your drums. I just did a big fill-in. Change your, or you can repeat. You can repeat back up to the C, the third measure. Do the dum da 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 dum da 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 dum. You can repeat that again while you're turning the page back, or just do big fill in and go back and play it the second time. Okay, so you got lots of stuff to think about. There, it's too fast. The song is too fast to actually be changing alter style and sounds and adding golden harp. So personally, learn how to put them in your presets. Most of you already know how to do that. If you are unsure, like I said, email me, call me, make an appointment, come on in and we'll show how to do it on your instrument. Easy, easy. It's good stuff. Got a um, raise hand. It looks like Pam. Yes. Uh, Dawn, mm -hmm. when, when we went through this in class, you added or we added notes in the fourth ending. Do you uh -huh. show yours? Like you did two chords, uh, two two notes at a time. Yes. C, A, C, G, C, F, and C, E. Uh huh. They're on the screen right now. Okay. Robert's got them on the screen. If you want to put those in, please feel free to do so. That's a nice ending. You can slow it down and just play those. They're now play those as double notes. C and A at the same time. Right. Yep. Okay. Play those at the same time. Or, okay. or you could just fade it out. Just keep repeating the C, F, um, C major 7, G7 measures and fade out. Either way is, is going to work for you. Okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Okay. Now, I'm going to play it again. If those of you who have your phones buy your instruments, I'm going to slow it down 10 points. I'm not going to slow it down completely. But if those of you have your phones by your instruments and you would like to play along, put on easy only. Do not put on the rhythm. Easy only. Now remember what I did for the introduction. If, if you don't feel like doing what I did, just hit your introduction. Don't do it now, but you would hit your introduction and just let it go and then come in. But I used the first eight chords as an introduction after I did that little piano blurb. So I'm gonna slow it down. Uh oh, you know what? That's not gonna work because all my presets are at 140. Try to keep up with me. One hand at a time works well. You could probably do the tempo lock, right? 
Eh, I don't know if it works if you if you have the presets though, does it? It it should. I believe it does. Let me try. Oh, wow, I just learned something new. Thank you. See, I know a couple things. See? That's <laughs> why I needed you today. Okay. I'm gonna start out with the little blurb. Anybody who wants this? Anybody who wants this, you may download it from musicnotes.com or come on in and we'll cheat. I'll just give you a copy. Oops, Robert, you didn't hear me say that. Okay, now I'm gonna count eight chords. One, two, three, four, F, C, D7, G. Go back and start again. So there you have Piano Man. Give her a big round of applause. Woo -hoo. Well, thank you so much. You know the drill. Come on in and, and uh, copy fingering, copy the notes. You know where my books are. Um, ask for a one-on-one. -on -one. We can sit down and learn how to do presets, whatever it is you want to do. If you need a book, 
call me, email me today so I can put a book order in tomorrow, okay? All right. Otherwise, um, we, can, we can front you the songs for now until your books come in, but please let me know so I can get your books ordered. You guys are the awesomest. Are there any questions before we say goodbye? I don't see any, no, raise hands. Oh, wait, Tamara? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hey, Tam. I just wanted to say hi to everybody from hey. Indiana. Oh, we miss you. Oh, we miss all of you. <laughs> It's nice we can do it this way. And we had Janet. You were raising your hand, Janet. Let me unmute your uh, unmute your thing, your device. Click unmute. Janet was raising her hand for real. Janet Expert or Janet Kunstman? It just says Janet. Oh, okay. It's like share. It's just Janet. Just, just Janet. <laughs> Okay. And can I see you waving your hand? We'll get to you in a second. There we go, Janet. There you go, Janet. Woo! Oh, I want to say hi to everybody. Oh. I, miss, I miss everybody. And, um, you know, anyway. So how is everybody? Everybody's fine, I'm sure. Well, based on the faces, I see a lot of smiles. So that's good. Probably because Dawn taught today. That's why. Oh. <laughs> no, I think we're just and happy then, to see uh, everybody, Ken, too. Ken Whaley, you had a raise in your hand there, Ken, again. Unmute yourself, Ken. Ken? You changed your mind. Okay, Ramon, you had your hand raised. Raise hands. <laughs> Nope, I guess he changed his mind. Wayne, your hand is raised as well. Yeah, well, Don, what is your email address? 5028 at FletcherMusic.com. Thank you. So if you need a copy of the song, they can just email you and you'll just send them that scan yes. that I had. Yep, up not off a problem. The yep. All right. Suzanne Kelly, your hand's raised. I don't know. <laughs> I know that I unmuted me. I just wanted to say that I was um, actually critiquing Don. Ooh. I'm not advanced like all of you and intend to be someday. But you did a great job. It's amazing. I, lo I love this virtual whatever you call it. But <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm more of a less Girls and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we really need to be in right there with Dawn, not on this screen, but the screen is wonderful. This is a great opportunity for all of you who vacation like Cheryl Trask <laughs> and can learn in a virtual way. So thank you for listening. Good job. Thank you, Sue. Thank well, you. Ramon, your hand is still up. Did you have something you want to say? Go ahead and unmute yourself. There we yes, go. I, yes, I do. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay, Dawn, you started out the song with um, normal rhythm, yes, and then you then you added the uh, AOC um, on the third page. Is that correct? I actually used what was it was a more AOC that was started. Okay, um, A one brought it up to the more harmony. Okay, and it was actually an octave AOC. Um, I don't know why I changed it to regular AOC because I thought it sounded a little fuller. It doesn't really matter. That was, that's kind of moot point. I didn't need it. But just so that you can, you realize you can change your different types of AOCs throughout the song. Okay. And then when you went back, back to the preset, it, it automatically dropped off the AOC or did you turn it off? Well, when I went to preset A5, it brought up again a more which was um, a polka type of an a harmony for the accordion. Okay. Now, if you don't want to work with AOC, then you have to remember to take that off when you are um, saving your presets. Right. Try okay. it with and without. Okay. Absolutely. All right, thanks. Good, good, good questions. Wow. Wow, I love seeing everybody. This is awesome. You guys are the bestest. You are the bestest. Um, I am thinking of putting in a Friday class, but I don't think I'm going to do it this week. 
Um, next week, Monday, will be book number 274 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Tuesday, we will continue with book number 200 at 11 o'clock in the morning. And Friday, I believe I'm going to do another 11 o'clock in the morning starting next week with book 134, which is the AFI's film industry songs from um, all the movie hits. I know two of our classes were using that book as well. And I'm just trying not to alienate everybody. Make sense? Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Love you all. Thank you. Bye, we'll see you next time. Bye, Dawn. Bye. We love you, too. Bye, Dawn. Bye. Thank you. Hi from Indiana. Hi, Tim. Nice seeing you. <laughs> Good seeing Bye. you, too. Bye-bye. Bye, Tim. Bye. Honey, how do you shut this off? <laughs> <laughs> That must be Janet. That's Janet. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. Oh, I, have macular. I have macular, and it's awful hard for me to see. So uh, <laughs> I have my wonderful, wonderful friend here <laughs> to help me. Roy. Sue Kelly, call me today, okay? Sue Kelly, can you hear me? Yeah, get on. Get on. Call me today. Okay. okay. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Marshall. Thank you for doing this. It's it's wonderful. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying this. I ha I had my pussy cat up here for you to see, but he's oh. gotten down now. <laughs> so Zach was listening to it all also. Oh, very nice. Good. Thank okay. you again. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm learning. I'm learning new stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, but it is. It's wonderful to see everybody. All right, I miss I'm gonna... everyone. You want to say I miss a little everyone. bit more? Do you want to? You want to all say goodbye? Bye. Sure, bye. bye. I'm going to end. Bye. <laughs> you did great. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are the bestest. <laughs>